Welcome Tadai Sheep to this Battlefront video where I'm pitting the DLT-19 against the DLT-19X. In this series I pit two Battlefront weapons against each other in five categories. Damage, rate of fire, range, cooling power, and accuracy. I'll use these categories to determine the best all-around Battlefront weapon. But I'll also tell you who each of the weapons are for. Let's get started with the damage of each weapon. On the damage side of things, we have a very clear winner. The DLT-19 cannot stand up against the massive damage the 19X deals out. One-shot kills from close to mid-range, headshots are automatic kills from any range. Let's see how these weapons stack up in the rate of fire test. There's no question about the winner for this round. The DLT-19 shoots the DLT-19X out of the air with its cooldown abilities. The CA-87 beats out the DLT-19X with its rate of fire. One shot and it overheats automatically. This round was pretty close, but we do have a clear winner. Again, the DLT-19X takes the win, but the DLT-19 is no slouch when it comes to range. In cooling power abilities, these two weapons are polar opposites, with the DLT-19 coming out on top. The DLT-19X overheats with just one shot, while it takes 10 to 20 shots for the DLT-19 to overheat. We have two different cases for accuracy. You don't use the DLT-19 for its accuracy, you use it for its rate of fire. So it isn't the main draw, while the main draw for the 19X is its amazing sniping capabilities. But both guns have pretty decent accuracy. The 19X may edge ahead on accuracy, but if you factor in the kick for both of these guns, the DLT-19 is the victor. The DLT-19 is the all-around better gun. The DLT-19X just can't stand up against the rate of fire the DLT-19 has. While the DLT-19X has a very strong presence in the sniping category, due to the range and damage. The thing that pulled the DLT-19 ahead is its ability to shoot multiple times before overheating. Both of these weapons are made for two different groups of people. The DLT-19 is made mostly for beginners and mid-range skill players. This weapon is particularly good for maps like Hoth and Tatooine. You have to have some skill to be good with the DLT-19X. Because of its long range design, you are very weak close range, so you have to change up your playstyle and hand. If you can do this, you will become a long range beast not to be reckoned with. The hand I suggest using with this weapon is the jump pack, the cooling cell or personal shield, along with a grenade. The cooling cell would allow you to shoot multiple times before overheating. And the personal shield would be used to protect yourself while you are waiting for your gun to cool down. The grenade would just be a good way to distance yourself from your enemies along with a jump pack for the same reason. If you are a sniper, I would definitely look into using the DLT-19X. DICE will definitely be upgrading this weapon as the game moves forward. That's all for this video. Comment down below what you think of these two weapons and which one you prefer. Subscribe, like, and share this video with your Battlefront friends. Goodbye. Keep the rebels back. Our AT -AT won't be